Hi, my name's Lee. Welcome to my channel, Cola Flipper. I'm a UK eBay reseller. I buy secondhand items uh, at car boot sales and charity shops, and I flip them on eBay for a profit. Um, as well as selling this, that, and the other, one of the main things that you, you probably know about me is I tart up shoes to resell, and by spending a bit of time and effort on them, you can increase the value and, and sell them for more, basically. Um, so now I'm gonna be tightening up a pair of Riga style boots. Uh, these are Clark's. Uh, Pretty good condition, very minimal wear on the sole, but the leather is dry as hell. I think I've paid about two quid for them. What they need is to have a bit of a nourish and a polish. So I'm gonna be giving them a clean with some saddle soap. Um, that will nourish um, the boots, make them look their best, and it should mean that I should be able to turn two or three quid into around the 30 pound mark. So after the fees, I should make about 20 quid profit. So pretty good. Um, so I've been on a bit of a shoe binge today, cleaning and, and tightening them up. So uh, I shall crack on and show you what I'm doing. So I've had a pretty busy morning so far. Uh, cleaned up a pair of pretty skanky looking uh, Air Force ones. So they're looking quite nice. Um, black ones are always good, because, especially in that sort of middle sort of size. These are uh, these aren't too big. I think they're what is a six, I think five and a half, um, because they're school shoe size. So that should be good. Um, as well as that, I've been tightening up some little kids' DMs. Um, whilst I paid high on these, I actually paid eight quid for those. Once I've got them, these are cleaned. Toes are very scuffed up, but um, once I've polished those up, these will look good. Um, but should be able to get good money on those. Also been tightening up kids' Tims. And then these need to dry up, but these are a pair of Chimahara. I paid, there's the logo, Chimahara. I paid seven quid for these in the charity shop. Very, very dry again. So I've been cleaning these up with a saddle soap. Once I've um, tied them up a little bit more, these would have been in the region of 300 quid new, 250, 300 at least. So I um, oh, should be able to sell these now. I want a little bit, I need to give them uh, some uh, shoe cream and then a brief polish, but I should be able to get somewhere between sort of 65 and 100 maybe. So I need to do a little bit more research on those, but they're still drying. Um, but those, the Chimaharas, that's what I've been using this on. This is this is um, leather saddle soap. So basically put some water in there, build up some suds, clean up the boot or the shoe or whatever leather, and that nourishes the leather, let it dry overnight or, or for a day or so. And then depending on the finish, you can then add um, shoe cream to, to give it that more that depth of colour. So as you can see, this leather is pretty stiff and dry. You can see all these little scratch, well, quite big scratches. And all that shows up quite badly because it is so dry. Um, Clark's size four, good size ladies boot. I tend to pick up more boots than I do um, close back shoes because the, there's a little bit more leeway on size with that. You tend to get a few more returns with these, but the return, as long as you pick the right shoe, you can still get some good returns. Sorry, good uh, good profits. Um, so these Clarks, um, you can see that the leather, rather than being glued on, it's also stitched into the sole and bonded onto this. Um, so yeah, I'll give them a clean and um, we'll see how they look, but should be out of turn. I'm pretty sure I'll pay two or three quid for these. and. Um, We'll get these sold for, I'll, I'll probably put them up for around the, these would have been around the 100 pound mark. I should be able to sell them once I've tightened them up. I'll put them up around the 30, 32, 50, and uh, I'd expect to sell them for the high high 20s. So um, high 20s, maybe 30 quid. So yeah, these should be pretty good. So I'll get cracking, just uh, let's see how we get on.
So that's the one that's been done. Not a huge amount in colour difference. But you can see sort of how dry and stiff the unconditioned one is. And that's a little bit more supple, this one. So I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. Do the second one. Come back and do the first one again. Just, just gives it a chance to absorb some of the um, saddle soap. And then I'll give it another once over and dry. Once they're fully dry, I'll uh, give them a once over with some uh, light tan polish. But um, yeah, I'll get on with the next one. I've got to film the, that second one. But um, we'll come back to that in a little bit. Right, now I'm going to use some uh, Colonel shoe cream. So I've got tan. It's not the same, but close enough. And uh, use a little daubing applicator brush. Just get a little bit, whoops, got a bit on the tips. Bang it on. This just gives it a little bit more depth of colour and protection and it'll give it a nice little shine. work it right in, especially around this sort of well area and around any of the, the broguing and detail. See, it's just adding that bit of richness. Should we see the difference there? This one is definitely richer than the one next to it. So work that in. Leave that to sit and absorb. And I'll do the same on the second one, but you don't need to see that. Right, gonna take that um, shoe cream off. Good thing about car boot sales is it's a great place for picking up cheap shoe brushes. Uh, I think I paid like a pound or two pound for these. And so again, right tan on, tan off. So I know which one I'm putting polish on and polish off. So this one, uh, um, used for taking off uh, both shoe cream and shoe polish. Um, so this is, the shoe cream has been allowed to absorb for a little bit. So it just needs a very quick once over to take that excess off. And then we'll put a little bit of uh, polish on. coat is filthy this is my shoe cleaning coat so it doesn't matter I always have a, a dirty old coat for the garden but especially for shoe cleaning don't give a monkey's it can go all up my arm up, up my front it doesn't matter because it, it it's literally for shoe cleaning off. Now if I'm doing a fancy pair of shoes I use higher quality shoe cream but these are just Clarks so I use um, Kiwi. It's good, it's fine. I take the butt, try and buy stuff in bulk. So I use my tan on brush. Just a little bit of a, just get a little bit on. 
Don't want to overload it. We're only going to put a touch of polish on, we're not going crazy. on to the off brush. What you want to do is use long strokes because you're trying to build up the friction which helps, A, well, the brush takes the um, wax and the polish off but the, as you go for quickly, it builds up heat, which builds up a bit of a shine and, and additional protection. So just want to go nice long strokes as quick as you can. Should see a decent shine on there now. You can see the one that's had the polish shined off. This one's had the shine taken off it. Uh, the the polish taken off it, so they should look more matte. See, there's quite a decent shine on that now. Obviously, when I take the photos, I'll have the boots stuffed with a boot tree and um, either a shoe tree or, or newspaper or whatever to, to fill up the base to, to give it a nice, solid um, 
puffed out look so it doesn't have the creases. But that, that's a vast improvement over the horrible dry mess that it was before. So what's that taking me, 15, maybe 20 minutes? But I don't mind, come out here to the garage, put the tunes on, get that done, and that adds value, so, you know what, I might push it out, I might try and list these for 35, 36 quid, maybe take off as around 30, so yeah, after fees, probably 20-ish quid profit, it's not too bad, can't play, complain with that, so, um, yeah, just gonna let them dry off for a little bit, and then uh, I'll uh, do my photography tomorrow, so, um, yeah, just thought I'd give you a, another example of uh, how to add value by um, putting a little bit of elbow grease in. Right, that's it for now. I think um, if I get the chance, I'll uh, add the photos to it after. But otherwise, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, whack them in the, uh, the comments. Um, if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up, that would be really helpful. And um, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. So uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.